the weekend, Republican committee members in the 24th Congressional District cast their votes and in the end decided former federal prosecutor John Katko should be the one to face Democrat incumbent Dan Maffei in the midterm election in November for Congress. Katko left his job at the federal building downtown weeks ago to get into this race. And now he's here for the first series of live television interviews that he has done. I welcome John Katko to the set. Thanks for being here, sir. Thanks, thanks for having me. Appreciate, appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you being here. Uh, so people may have seen you on TV before. That was reduced to about 15-second sound bites related to criminal cases. Mm -hmm. Take me home to Camillus. Who's John Katko? Well, I'm a, I'm a lifelong Camillus resident, except for a period of time after law school when mm -hmm. I was down in Washington. Uh, and uh, I have three wonderful kids, teenage boys. And they're all teenagers for sure. And uh, <laughs> lovely wife Robin, who we've been married for 26 years. She's a registered nurse, and uh, even got a black lab named Sadie. So that's our family. Is the family on board 100% with what you're about to embark on? Yeah, they're on board 100%. My youngest one thought that if I won, he'd be getting limousine rides to school every day with this by the Secret Service. So. Uh, I had to dispel him of that notion. Even when I did, he was still excited about me running, yes. There, there are things that come with putting yourself out there that are, that are not always wanted by people who are candidates for public office. Did you have a heart-to-heart -heart with your wife and say, you know, whatever they throw at us down the road, whatever, however this works out, uh, you're, you're, really, you're really good with it? I am good with it because, you know, for 20 years I've been putting myself out there. When, yeah. when you do the types of organized crime and gang cases that I've mm. done, you're really putting yourself out there. And uh, a lot of times they're very unpopular cases. I remember doing a police corruption case and uh, I was vilified for that uh, in, in uh, Schenectady. And uh, it turned out that we were right and that we got con secured convictions. But So we've been doing this for a long time. But in the end, this is a little different, but it's the same type of thing. you got to put yourself out there in life if you want to get results. We talk about your, your record as a federal prosecutor. What, what rises to the top of my mind is the convictions you won uh, of the boot camp gang in Syracuse. The first time that Syracuse, I think, really admitted that it had a gang problem. What did you learn working the boot camp case with all different police agencies and such in, in dealing with criminal suspects that you think maybe prepares you to go to Washington? Uh, although you can't arrest all those people down there. <laughs> You'd probably like to. <laughs> I have no comment on that, but I, you know, doing the gang cases, you've learned so much that translates well to the, what I'm about to, uh, what I'm involved in now. Uh, so far, I've already known, thinking on your feet, dealing with uh, different, different people, different factions, different interests, different priorities, and different police agencies that were part of the gang task force. They all had different priorities. You had to get them all together, make them a team, and that's 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 really good. Thinking on your feet, taking mm -hmm. fire, sitting across from gang members who, if they weren't in handcuffs, would rip my head off. Mm -hmm. uh, getting them not only to respect you, but to uh, maybe plead guilty, maybe plead guilty and cooperate. Yeah. Those are all skills I've, I've learned. All right, we have to. We're going to take a break. We're also going to put up this uh, for just a second. In the interest of fairness, we did reach out to the Maffei campaign today. We heard from his campaign manager, Kane Miller. Representative Maffei, he says, is focused on creating jobs, growing the local economy, and strengthening the middle class in central New York. Welcome back to the talk tonight. Former federal prosecutor and current Republican candidate for Congress in the 24th District, John Katko, is my guest. I'm glad you're here, and I want to get into some issues. Uh, we've got you here, and we know that Ukraine is blowing up in the news. Uh, I'm curious how much you uh, take these issues that now that you're a candidate for Congress, these, these world hotspots are going to start, you know, they're exploding, and all of a sudden you've got to be up to speed to, to really respond to it. What, as you watch what's happening in Ukraine, what have you been thinking? Well, what I've been thinking is that our foreign policy is not strong. Mm -hmm. And because it's not strong and it's somewhat disheveled, I think uh, uh, aggressive people like Putin and Russia feel like they can take liberties because they don't think there's going to be any sort of a, a firm response from the U.S. And in fact, there hasn't been, and that's why he's taking these liberties. So I start thinking about that and what I would want out of, a, out of my government, and I, I think keep, uh, speak softly and carry a big stick. By that, I mean know, let them know that if they, if they step over the line, there's going to be a swift and strong response. They don't know that now, and that's why things like, like the Crimea incident is happening now. 
you, the president has not been strong on this? His, his, whole, his whole foreign policy has been up and down, and you don't really know what he stands for. And if you look what's happened in the Middle East, our, our, our best friend in the Middle East is Israel, and they, they don't know if they can even trust the United States right now. That's not a good foreign policy to have in the Middle East. Uh, some people, when I mentioned that I was going to be talking to you, they're interested in what kind of a Republican you are and what kind of a Republican congressman you would be if you win this race. A and I got the sense when, when I was talking to them that they were wondering about the social issue aspect mm. of things. What kind of a Republican are you when it comes to social issues? Well, I'm a social conservative and my fiscal conservative, but I'm also a pragmatist. You gotta go down to Washington to get things done. Social is issues are not gonna rule the day in Washington right now. What's gonna rule the day in Washington is what's happening on the budget side and the economic side, and that's what this campaign is really about. As you saw from Dan Maffei's statement to us, he's all about the middle class and he's all about uh, the economy and everything. That's what this is gonna be about. And, and me calling him on some things and, and pointing out why I have better ideas uh, for that than he does. That's what this election's about. Where do you think the biggest failure has been in, in the tenure of Dan Maffei as a congressman? Do you, do you have one that stands out? He hasn't done anything. He hasn't really accomplished anything. And uh, he hasn't really uh, furthered the dialogue on one of the key issues to me, and that is the budget and the debt. Every single working American in the United States right now is on the hook for $123,000 in debt. Every single person, you and me alone, are worth a quarter million dollars in the payment of that debt. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so that is something that has not been addressed. And instead of addressing that, yeah. we hear more programs about more spending. It's, it's irresponsible. John Katko. Thanks we'll for having be, me. We'll be seeing uh, a lot more of you as, uh, as we tick down to the election. Thank you, sir, for being here. This is The Talk Tonight on CBS 5. We'll be right back.